الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله ابن القيم said رحمه الله تعالى he said the fourth level that the heart relies and depends upon Allah and is at peace with him this is imperative Imperative for her to reflect. That's just the unwan. That's just the uh, short title. Uh, peace, having that contentness. I think all of us are trying to strive to get that. And Ali Iman, those people who are strong in Iman, this is their affair. Really. And that is something to be envious of. You know, because when we look at our own lives and how many sins we commit because of our weakness, and our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our weakness. I mean, when you really reflect, all of these things come together with your iman and with your trust. If you're really making tawakkul, are you really gonna push that button and look at that next film that you're watching of pornography? If you're really trusting Allah, are you really gonna go out on that date with your boyfriend? If you really tawakkul on Allah, are you gonna smoke that weed? Because no one was holding your, your, your hand to the pipe. No one was putting your lips to the bong. It was you. So those things, when we realize that, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all and help us all to be better slaves of His, we need to really learn and strive to attain that peace. You know, I'm jealous of those people who are favored by Allah, whose hearts are open, iqbal, with itimad, truly itimad Allah, those people who really talk a lot of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because I know how weak I get when I make an effort and I don't see the fruits. Get weak. You know, you feel yourself, you're like, subhanAllah. I know how I'm, Allah knows how I'm, I'm weak. So then he, maybe I'll get tested a little bit, then he brings me back. He brings me back. Have a ni'mah alzimah. That's a great ni'mah that your Lord has. And then I know some people, I could not handle their test. They're so tested and they're so much better than me because they handle that test. I'm like, wow, I couldn't have dealt with that. Look how I was whining about such and such with my risk. How I was scared. I was making so much money. I, I, I still have the job. I'm still making the money, but I'm scared about the next stage. Subhanallah. So you see the importance of Iman. You see the importance. It's not just about, you know, we do talab al-ilm and we do these things. We do these things. You're, you're, you're supposed to do these things. Look at that. Athar of the Salaf. Talab al-ilm, talab al-jannah. Seeking knowledge is seeking jannah. If you really reflect and you really take that to heart, that your talab al-ilm is to bring you closer to Allah, to make, have you better practice, more tawakkul, more reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, 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 you'll be advancing. But the ones who just take Talib al-Ilm as a means so they can be in a cer certain status or for some amur dunyawiya, some, uh, 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 some affair in the, the worldly life, you see, you see they don't have the same fruits. And sometimes we don't know, but they know. And more importantly, Allah knows that there's, some of the people are just on the fence or they're tarnished with hypocrisy. They memorize so much, they sound so good in the minbar, they sound so good. But Allah knows best what goes on in their homes. Allah knows best what goes on. And this is not to put doubt in and in, in slander the du'at and slander the, the talibat al-ilm, la. But I'm just giving you the reality, putting it in perspective that all of us are tested. All of us are weak and in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of us need to perfect our tawheed, really perfect our tawheed. I'm not saying you know some categories of tawheed. I'm talking about perfect by practicing that tawheed, strengthening your iman, strengthening your tawakkal. Ibn al-Qayyim said, so that it is not disquieted and disturbed by the means and does not depend and find peace with them, but rather he dispels reliance upon them from his heart and fills it with dependence upon and peace with the one who brings them about. Allahu Akbar. This is the affair of Ahli Iman. This is the affair of the Mu'minun. Those who, 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 Yu'minun bil ghayb. 
This is their affair. That they, they, those are the ones who, they believe in Allah. They, they believe in the here, in the, in the ghayb. And they establish the salat. And from what they are provided, they spend, spend it in righteousness. Those people, they are, because of their itimad al Allah, because of their reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they're on a whole nother level in their iman. They truly rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the ones who are comforted in the heart because of their iman. Unlike most of the creation that is not blessed to be on that level, to really put their trust in Allah, to really put their trust in Allah and not in the asbab. So going back to the, going to an example of your rizq, if a person wants to increase his or her rizq and not depend on other people, not beg other people, that they go out and search. And when they're searching for that job or that business opportunity or whatever they're trying to do, they are not placing their heart in that asbab, in that reason, meaning that if they are putting in 200 applications, they don't become depressed or they don't put their heart in those applications. Now that is a difficult principle to wrap around. But the point is, is that their heart is aligned with Allah Jal. Their heart is put in trusting their Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in totality that they're, they, they don't receive disappointment. They know their Lord has a risk for them and they put their trust and they keep putting applications. They may get frustrated, they may become sad, but at the same time, their true issues of the heart, their true trust and, and, and reliance in the heart is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are Ahl Iman. Those people are the people of high Iman. And may Allah bless us to be from amongst them, Amin. Then he says, then the sign of this is that he does not care when they come or go, meaning the reasons. They're not advertising for jobs. So he's not concerned about that. He's more, con and his heart is not perturbed by that. It does not tremor when those he dislike arrive, dislikes arrive. Rather, his reliance is in Allah. And he is at peace with him and depends upon him. Allah protects him from fearing them or desiring them. Subhanallah. That's, that's deep. They, they don't fear the people who blame them. They don't fear the people who oppose them. They put their hearts and their trust with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they don't become sad. All the people are attacking them. All the people are against them. All the people are, are trying to block them from attaining rizq. Or it seems shutting the door. But the one of Iman puts his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His sadness doesn't come from them. But rather, he's not fearful of them. And he's not fearful of their blame. But he's still going forward. He or she putting their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.